Mortgage interest rates are headed to 5% and it's going to happen sooner than you think. A lot of people are sitting back waiting for this to happen, but there's a way to get the home you want with an affordable payment right now. Today, you're getting a glimpse into the future, giving you an enormous advantage over those who can't see the massive opportunity in front of them. When you're done watching this video, you'll have no doubt that mortgage rates will soon hit 5% and why right now is the best time to buy a house. Be sure to watch to the end where I'll share the best strategy for those of you who want to buy a home and save tens of thousands of dollars. We recently learned that the Federal Reserve reported better than expected inflation numbers. This caused a huge drop in mortgage rates. Many believe that we've seen the peak of inflation, which means interest rates should continue to decline. This brings up several important questions. Will mortgage interest rates continue to drop? Will we see 5% rates? And if so, when? These questions lead to a bigger question. Should I buy a house now or should I wait? I'm going to answer all these questions in today's video using the most recent statistics and information provided by my most trusted source and two-time Crystal Ball Award winner, Barry Habib. For those of you who don't know, inflation is when you have too many dollars chasing too few goods. When this happens, the cost to borrow increases in the form of higher interest rates. So when the Fed hikes rates, fewer individuals will borrow money. And in case you don't know, the Fed does not control interest rates. It's inflation that drives mortgage rates. The pink line at the bottom of this chart is inflation. The other line is mortgage interest rates. When inflation goes up, rates go up. Inflation goes down, rates go down. The arrow is pointing out the QE period where the Federal Reserve was buying mortgage-backed securities to push mortgage interest rates down. As I've said in previous videos, they were too late to respond. You can see that early in 2021, inflation shoots up, but the Federal Reserve continued to hold rates down. And that's why they were forced to slam on the brakes, driving mortgage interest rates up above 7%. Looking at this chart again, the red arrow points to where inflation crosses the line heading above mortgage interest rates. As you all know, the market changed in June. Because mortgage rates always follow inflation, they shot up. The green arrow points to November 10th, 2022, when inflation crossed back under the fixed 30-year mortgage rate line. And of course, that's when mortgage interest rates dropped. So when will inflation peak? Let's look at this chart. The dip in core consumer price index, or the CPI, in the summer of 2021, followed by the higher numbers through 2022, pushed rates higher. Looking all the way to the right, due to the efforts of the Fed to curb inflation, the CPI dropped back down to where we were in the summer of 2021. This confirms that the Fed has finally gotten inflation under control, and this will ultimately lead to 5% mortgage interest rates at some point in 2023, most likely in the spring. Shelter costs will have a substantial impact on rates moving forward. What is shelter cost? It's the cost of rents, and it accounts for 39.3% of core CPI. Because shelter costs are lagging, the sharp decline will give a huge boost with a deeper deceleration in CPI. Look for this to occur in January 2023. This too will pull mortgage rates down. We are also seeing a massive drop in money supply. As a matter of fact, it's the biggest drop in 18 years. You'll notice that the money supply has been declining over the past five months. Fewer dollars will equal lower inflation and in turn, lower mortgage interest rates. This next chart shows the 30-year mortgage rates versus the 10-year treasury spread going back 35 years. The blue line at the bottom is the treasury and the yellow line is mortgage rates. These numbers tend to track together over time. The normal spread between them is 175 to 200 basis points. Mortgage rates tend to be 2% above the 10-year treasury. So if the treasury is at two, mortgage rates would be a four. The red arrows show the median of the spread. Over the last 35 years, the spread has stayed extremely close and has not deviated too far. That is, until now. For the first time ever, mortgage rates and the 10-year treasury are 300 basis points apart. This is happening because the market knows that a loan at 7% has no servicing value as those with higher rates will refinance in the near future. The data shows that when servicing values come back to the market, we will resume a normal spread. So when the 10-year treasury gets closer to inflation, we'll get back to servicing values. Habib believes that the 10-year treasury is headed below three. <laughs> By looking at the history of this chart, you can already assume that mortgage rates will hit 5% or lower. It's not a question of, will inflation numbers continue to get better? They are improving. And barring some unforeseen event, the trend will continue. Yes, mortgage rates will fluctuate, but they will continue their downward trend. The housing market is on a verge of a complete recovery. Stop listening to the media or your friend who says, I know the housing market's gonna crash. If you're looking to buy a home, you know 
that over the last few years, the home buying process has been a complete nightmare. It was common for buyers to miss out on multiple homes before finally getting an accepted offer. With so much competition, buyers frequently had to bid tens of thousands of dollars above the asking price, give a large non-refundable deposit, waive the inspection and appraisal contingencies, among other things. Many now regret their decision to buy during the boom. Thank goodness you don't have to deal with that. Today, mortgage rates are the primary reason people aren't buying houses. Well, that and overpriced real estate. But since June, prices have come down in many areas. And now, as a buyer, these higher mortgage interest rates give you a massive advantage. Why? Well, first of all, most people will fail to see this as a massive opportunity to buy right now and miss out on loads of incredible benefits. Of course, you could wait a month or two for the market to bottom out. But in the last few years, we've seen the housing market pivot quickly and you could miss out. And as rates continue to tick downward, more buyers will enter the market. So why should you buy right now? Because for a limited time, the housing market has normalized or in overpriced areas, it's a buyer's market. Either way, you as the buyer have a massive opportunity. The number one advantage to buying a home in this market is that sellers are willing to negotiate. That means you can ask the seller to reduce the price of the home or pay your closing costs. But do not ask for a price reduction, or at least that shouldn't be your main objective. To maximize your savings, apply the seller paid closing costs toward either a temporary or permanent buy down. This will save you hundreds of dollars per month and likely tens of thousands of dollars over the life of that loan. Habib created this scenario to show you the power of a buy down. This should excite you. If you were to purchase a $500,000 home with 20% down, you'd have a loan amount of $400,000. Last year, you could have easily paid $50,000 or more over the asking price, so you have massive savings right there. With normal negotiations, you could get $10,000 from the seller. If you were to select a permanent buy down, that $10,000 should give you a 1% interest rate decrease. Or even better, for $9,323, you can do a 2-1 buy down, applying the remainder of the funds towards closing costs. Looking at the example, you have a $400,000 loan. The normal rate is 7%, but for the first year, you'd be at 5% with a payment of $2,147 per month, a monthly saving of $514. But here's where it gets crazy. In the next six to eight months, or you know, give or take a little, you should be able to refinance and get that 5% rate. The icing on the cake, because you didn't use all of your buy down, you'll get a refund of the unused portion of the buy down and that will cover the cost of a refinance. Right now, there's very little competition as many who want to buy don't see the massive opportunity in front of them. You can go out and get the home that you want with an affordable payment right now. There's absolutely no reason to wait. Here's the truth. Most people will miss out because they don't act until everyone else is buying. This is true with stocks or real estate. We're at the ground floor. This is a massive opportunity for you to get ahead of the curve and look like a genius to all your friends and family. This video is giving you a glimpse into the future, saving you a boatload of money. Talk to a lender about your specific situation. If you're in Utah, I can recommend a few lenders that I know will take great care of you. I also recommend reaching out to a local real estate agent to negotiate the best terms on a great home. Once again, if you're in Utah, I'd be honored to serve you. Before I bring this to a close, I've shown in previous videos that nationwide, we are suffering from a severe housing shortage. So when everyone pours back into the market next year, as rates drop, your home's value will certainly increase. This is the reason why most major economists are forecasting home price increases in 2023. For more on that, you want to watch the 2023 U.S. housing market prediction. Look for the link below. There are loads of incredible advantages to buying a house in this market, but I wanted to keep this video short. Look for a video in the near future explaining why you should buy a home right now. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I would love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I always do my best to respond to each one of you. If you have a friend or a family member looking to buy or sell a home, you can easily text this video to them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good. <laughs>